This is gate 2017 set to electrical question number 12 in the circuit shown the diodes are ideal the inductance is small and i not not equal to 0 which one of the following statements is true four options are given for nptel reference you can refer to lecture number 11 dual converter and commutation overlap of the nptel course power electronics by professor g bhubaneswari department of electrical engineering iit delhi coming to the useful data when the ac voltage is like this then d1 is forward biased current flows in d1 and this is open and the same current is I naught. So this is the current. But as soon as this voltage is reversed, current in D1 slowly becomes zero and this becomes forward biased. As soon as the sign reverses like this, this D2 becomes forward biased and shorts the load side. So this current slowly becomes zero and this D2 slowly increases. And now when D1 is on, this path is shorted and this D2 is open and the current flowing is I0 and when D1 is off and D2 is on this current I0 flows like this and D1 is open but instantly the current cannot change D1 slowly becomes 0 and D2 slowly becomes I0 due to the effect of this inductor so we need to note that the voltage V0 is Appearing only when D1 is on because when D2 is on this is shorting the load side so this is 0 so as a result the diode D1 is actually on for more than 180 degree because of this inductor as the current cannot be 0 instantly and same for D2 it is on for more than 180 degree D1 is becoming on ID2 is slowly becoming 0 and ID1 is again slowly increasing to I0 both the diodes conduct for more than 180 degree extra conduction angle of mu is appearing which is known as the overlap angle where both the diodes are on so effective conduction happens for more than 180 degree which is 180 plus mu both d1 and d2 conducts for more than 180 degree option a is the correct answer thank you